Guys, this was a really bad dent. This Z4 had a air conditioner drop on it. That's really bad. It's not just the deep part, but it's this whole area here. Um, this one was especially bad because uh, it was sort of like a dent within a dent. So whenever you have like a dent and then there's a sharper, really sharp point within that same dent, it's usually bad news. So for sure, I thought this was going to be oil canned. Um, it's a pretty flat part of a fender and uh, I didn't even know how bad the axis was going to be until I took things apart. Uh, so the thing with uh, dents like this is that they look very overstretched. So in metallurgy and mechanical engineering or material properties, um, there's a point when you stretch steel or aluminum or most metals that it's it's gone to a point where it's not going to spring back anymore. Um, and steel is a little bit more forgiving than um, hardened steel, high strength steel or aluminum. In this case, like it's, it looked definitely beyond the point where it would spring back. So analogy you can think about is that, uh, do you remember those, uh, those Snapple bottles? It was a, a ring, uh, the Snapple bottle has a lid that's like a ring and when you undo it it would pop so there's some floppy metal in between the ring of the cap um, and they intentionally make it uh, bigger like a bigger surface than what the ring can contain so it either sit high or low and that's why you get this pop in and out so in metal work there's a situation where the metal gets overstretched um, and because it doesn't come back you have more surface than the perimeter hasn't changed much, uh, hopefully. And if it hasn't changed much and there's more surface, then we get into a lot of trouble because um, like the Snapple bottle, the perimeter is fixed, but what's in between, there's more surface. So it tends to pop in and out uh, and never really sits flat. So I've got the headlight out by the liner. Um, go in from there because there's uh, something blocking it. So I have to slip, slip into here. So this inner fender is sticking out, kind of blocking. There's some space, but it's blocking um, access to this area. Got a tough one cut out for me. guys I'm just um, showing you my progress on that super deep crease um, just getting back to it but I what I wanted to do was show you what you can see in there increased exposure but uh, I couldn't really go in from the, uh, the fender around the tire because of this this here is the inner fender and uh, basically all I can do is get a, a shave tool down here between the, this is the fender and this is the inner fender. So I'm coming in from here. You can see that. That's how I'm getting to the, to the, to the deads there. So not the best access on this one. But it's coming along.
Hey guys, come on, give me a break. Uh, the poll, you guys were, half of the people thought that wooden oil can. And uh, man, that's a, that's a really deep dent. Air conditioner fell on the fender. So uh, I took it on just, um, I told him that uh, I might not be able to do it, but you know, I wanted to try. So, but you know what? I, after uh, a night's sleep and I, I'm trying it again today and it's, it's starting to work out. Let me show you my difficulties with it. Guys, let me show you what I'm up against. So, um, I can't really come up from the inside here because, I got a tool in there. See if I can show you, but this, I can't zoom in. See that? That's the inner fender. Um, I've got my tool in there, and that's all the space I have to get to. Oh, look, it's braced up here too. That's all I got to get in there. So coming in from the wheel well like normal is just not gonna work in this case. Um, got the sword tool in there. So basically, this is like shave tool. You can probably put a half inch tool in there, but you can't, it's gonna be tight, can't move around. But it's working out pretty well.